Short game's gonna be money this year. Hey, what is up everybody? I hope you're all doing well despite all of the issues going on in the world with everybody on lockdown. But a lot of you ask for what's in the bag, so you know what? I've got nothing else to do. Let's do one. I want to run through the clubs that are in the bag, and then after that, I'm going to take you inside back into my office and show you some of the accessories that I plan on playing in 2020, like golf balls, shoes, uh, GPS devices, and everything that's going to be on me when I'm out on the course. So let's just run through it real quick. First off, Let's start at the top, the driver, the bumblebee setup. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, I call this the bumblebee obvious reasons because of the color. The black TS3, and uh, this is a nine and a half here on the loft. I absolutely love this club, my favorite club in the bag by far. Uh, when it comes to results, driving uh, dispersion, distance, uh, hitting a lot of long balls with this, I have no need to change this club out. It's got plenty of pop in it. Uh, I might change out the grips to match the new ones, which I'll show you in a second. So let me put this one down. All right, these are my hybrid and three wood. Still playing the uh, old models here because I have not yet had a chance to upgrade. I hit the TS models, both hybrid and three wood in Orlando. Crushed them, absolutely loved them. It was amazing to feel off the club. So on my things to do, as soon as all of this craziness is over, is to go out and get a proper fitting for both a TS three wood and a TS hybrid because the results were just too good. So why not upgrade to make my golf game a little better? But for now, these are staying in the bag. By the way, these new head covers from Titleist, they're probably like the coolest head covers I've ever had. Irons, oh yeah. You saw these not too long ago when we were fitted uh, with Kevin Sprecher at Sleepy Hollow. I went with the TS200 lineup and uh, just the way I was hitting the ball. And again, I keep talking about dispersion, keeping the ball tight, not hitting it right, not hitting it left, hitting my targets. These were so money. Uh, that I just, I, I believe it didn't take long for Kevin to say, okay, sold, these ones are all yours, and uh, uh, this is what I went with. And this is gonna be our first full season, um, as soon as the season starts, first full one with the new TS irons. Uh, I went from a four iron now, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and pitch, no three iron. I know Frank's rocking a three iron, I believe, but uh, no three iron for me. And last, we've got, still playing the SM7s, Guys, I absolutely love these wedges. Now, we had a fitting scheduled this week actually coming up with Kevin Sprecher uh, to test out the SM8s and to get fitted for the SM8s. But because of everything going on, uh, that has been shut down for now and just postponed for a few weeks. Hopefully it's just a few weeks. So once we resume normal activity, we will be out there getting fitted for the SM8s. Uh, but there's one in particular that I just love so much. It is this one right here. This is my Call 811. 52 degree wedge that Aaron Dill, uh, Vokey Wedge Reb on Instagram, check him out. He's the guy who creates these wedges, uh, puts them together, stamps them for the players on tour, the Titleist players on tour. Uh, he invited us in the tour truck last summer. We went in there, he built us a custom wedge. He asked what we wanted to personalize it with and I had a little bit of a dig, pun intended, at myself here with Call 811. So for now we're playing the SM7s until we upgrade. And last but not least, my Scotty. Love my Scotty. Really love this club. This is the Newport here. We have uh, been playing this now for about a year. And uh, what a difference it makes to have a putter that's fit for you. I mean, what a difference it makes having clubs in general fit to you. But when it comes to the, the putting, uh, the right, you know, height, length of the shaft, um, everything from mallet to blade or whatever it is, uh, this was just perfectly fit and it just feels good rolling the ball. So we got the Scotty hopefully for many, 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 many years to come with this bad boy. All right. so. Here's what I'd like to do now because I want to show you what else is going to be in the bag this season, uh, like what balls I'm going to be playing uh, from, you know, GPS devices to shoes and all this great stuff. So let's go head into my office now. It's starting to get a little cold out here. So let's go head into my office and uh, let's show you the rest of it. So new bag. Got some new things, want to put them in the bag, want to fill it up, the fun and exciting part, but it goes beyond just balls and gloves. What else am I going to be putting in the bag in 2020? What's going to be out there with me, my survival kit, so to speak, over 18 holes? So let's check it out. 
All right, first we're gonna start with the balls, the most important piece of equipment in the bag. I'm a Pro V1X guy. I was fitted for these up at TPC River Highlands with the Titleist team last summer. And pretty cool, they sent us the, uh, the newer version with the Golficity logo, love this. Uh, also, when we were in the uh, PGA show in Orlando, uh, we received the brand new 2020 AVXs from the team over at Titleist. So I'm excited to put these to work this year. I'm gonna compare them. I'll get back to you guys on the difference between both that, this, I'm sorry, and the Pro V1X. Gloves, really digging the Stay Softs from Foot Joy, both black and white. Why do you need both colors? To look good, right? No. Well, the black is really sleek, really cool, and I'm gonna wear them with the brand new Carbons, the Foot Joy Carbons, the Pro SLs, really cool match right there. And then of course, the white glove, the standard white glove that you see out on the course a lot with the brand new Foot Joy Tour X, as well as these other Pro SLs, which I'm absolutely loving. Really cool, I'm a shoe junkie, I love these, and I can't wait to, uh, to test those ones out. Also, gotta love the Tech Soft Socks from Foot Joy. These are super comfortable. Being quarantined at home, I've been wearing these around the house for the past week. Uh, super soft, super comfortable. Wore them out to the range a couple weeks ago. Uh, they really feel good. They feel good in the shoes, and uh, it's important. I mean, I walk a lot when I play golf. I don't really take carts that often, so very important. Um, next, of course, the ShotScope V2. I do not play around without it. It's the world's smartest GPS watch. Uh, every course you can imagine on this is on this thing. Um, I love it, I love it, and it, it, it really tracks all the stats. It gives you all the breakdown of your golf game, as well as, uh, you know, that laser-like GPS that we're all looking for. So, that is going in the bag, of course. Here's something else most people don't put in their bag. This is just a basic battery charger. Our friends at Amp Caddy send this one, this one over. I've got about five different ones. I mean, you collect them as gifts when you go to trade shows and things like that. So I've got plenty and uh, having a good one just charged at all times and in your bag is um, is the right way to go. You gotta bring a cable too as well, as well as an iPhone cable if you have an iPhone or whatever phone you have to charge on the go. Because we're always filming, we're always taking photos, we're always on our phones out there. Sunscreen, got my daughter's sunscreen, it's 50. Gotta have the strongest stuff. Pain relief. Can't go wrong with anti pain relief. I always throw in a leave and a Tylenol in there. I also have the rain grips. You never know when the storm is gonna come out of nowhere and you need more traction or support. And uh, I also have the, the all weather gloves, but I'm not gonna use those until the winter. Those are thicker from Put Joy. They have the furry back so that the wind can't penetrate them. Those are amazing as well. And then last, my token team Titleist uh, scorecard holder. I love this thing. Last round we played was Baldus Raw, so I always keep the last round of the year in there uh, just to kind of think back of where I was. Also got one from St. Andrews. Pretty cool. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, if, if there's something that you're using in your bag that you always put in there, some part of your survival kit that you think I should have in my bag that I'm not even thinking about, please comment below. Let me know what is in your bag and what are you using. Maybe I'll go out and get it. Uh, maybe I'm not thinking all the way. I'd love to hear that. And also, guys, during this time, I just want to say thanks for watching and thanks to all of you at home uh, for being patient uh, with the world crisis that's going on. But a big thanks to everyone out there on the front lines, whether it be uh, all of the nurses and doctors, as well as all the way down to the, the bank workers, grocery store workers, and post office workers, delivery workers, everyone out there that's doing their part to try to keep us going. It's tough time, but we're hanging in there, and pretty soon we're gonna be out on the course playing with this equipment and bringing you more awesome content. So once again, thank you guys for being patient with us at Golficity. On behalf of Frank and myself, we just wanna say thanks for being awesome fans and followers at Golficity, and we look forward to bringing you awesome content really soon. Cheers, guys.